The 1-1. Deep fly ball. Right center field. Want to know where my passion for barrel up for baseball started? Want to know? It all started on a baseball field just like this, catching barrels at an early age. Welcome to Barrel Up Podcast. Good afternoon, Barrel Up Podcast family, and welcome to another edition of Barrel Up Podcast. This is your host, John Carlos, and today we will be celebrating Maggie, 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 Maggie. If you guys do not know who Maggie is, which baseball players around the world do know, but for those who don't know, Miggy is a nickname for Miguel Cabrera. Yes, the great Miguel Cabrera, who has reached a major milestone in his career. 500 career home runs. Yes, 500 career home runs. He is the 28th player that has reached this magnificent milestone. Only 28 in the whole baseball existence, uh, meaning Major League Baseball existence. 28th, right? That's something big to say. But before we start, do not, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Barrel Up Podcast. Follow us on Twitter, Barrel Up Podcast slash Baseball. Like this video, comment down below. Follow us on, yes, on uh, Instagram. As you will see all the funny memes there, um, all the upcoming uh, podcasts that we have to offer. Uh, and the at name for the Instagram is Barrel Up underscore Baseball. Follow us on Anchor. If you want to listen to this uh, podcast on your way to work, on your way home, wherever you want to listen to it, on Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R. And last but not least, follow us on Spotify as well. We are on Spotify. Thank you guys for all the support that you have shown this, uh, this server here, John Carlos and the team, as we are more than uh, blessed to have you guys and to see the interactions. We do read, I do read all the comments that you leave, both on the Instagram page, on the YouTube channel, everything. We're connected. We are ones. We are a family. We are one, guys. So we are here for you. I'm here for you. And for the lovers of the, uh, the, baseball, the baseball game. And today, like I said, we are going to present to you, I'm going to present to you, Miguel Cabrera's story thus far. There's one to tell. The guy's not over. And in my opinion, he is already a Hall of Famer. Yes, I'm making a bold statement already. He is already a Hall of Famer in my eyes. But let me tell you why. Let's start with a little bit of background for those who do not know who Miguel Cabrera is, right? Miguel Cabrera was born April 18th, 1983 in Maracay, Venezuela. Yes, Maracay, Venezuela. From Venezuela, the great country, right? There's been many stars that have shined their light on the game of baseball. We have the Andres Galarraga. We have the Francisco Rodriguez. We have the uh, Cargos, right? Carlos Gonzalez, who just uh, retired or is, not, or is not active. We have the Alcides Escobars. We have the Maglio Ordonezes of the world. Should I keep going? I think if I keep going, I'll be here the whole day. I'll make it an episode of, of its own, right? Today, we are celebrating Miguel Cabrera. He makes his major league debut June 20th of 2003. 2003. We're talking about what? What? Almost, almost, what? 19 years ago? Yes, 19 years ago. Not almost. 19 years ago, this great star makes his major league debut with the then Florida Marlins. Today we have the Miami Marlins, but then they were the Florida Marlins. I did say in the prior episode, the one before this, the Willie Adama special, go check that out. That once you know you're great, once you know for a fact that you're great or that you have the potential to be great and others notice it, it's only a matter of what? It's only a matter of time. Miguel Cabrera was called up at the age of 19, turning 20, 
but it was only a matter of time for him to make it known that he was here and he was here to stay. June 20th of the 2003 season, very, very, very important season, even though it was his first year, in his first game, he made his stint. How? By hitting his first career home run. And not only that, his first career home run made the Florida Marlins win. Made the Florida Marlins win. So he hit a walk-off home run as his first career home run in his first career game. We're talking about an all-star, uh, a legend in the making then and then a legend now. A legend, an active legend now. Mark my words, I said that. You can tell anybody I said that. He played with the Miami, sorry, with the Florida Marlins from 2003 to 2007, five years with the Florida Marlins. And in those years, he was rookie of the year. He won a World Series his first year, okay? And managed to get up to 100 home runs with the then Florida Marlins. In five years, you, you, you did all that, rookie of the year, 100 home runs. Oh, my God. Yes. In 2008, he signs a $200-plus plus million contract with the Detroit Tigers, and he's been there ever since. Fast-forwarding to yesterday, August 22nd of 2021, at the Rogers Center in Toronto, Canada, Miggy makes history yet again, and in grand fashion. I'll tell you how it was. He was facing former Mets, Stephen Matz, who I did not want to be in the Mets. He was not doing anything positively for the Mets, in my opinion. Great pitcher, right? Who has revitalized his career with the Toronto Blue Jays. He's facing Stephen Matz, and Stephen Matz, you know, he, I'm not going to lie, he, he threw a good pitch on the middle to outside corner. Seemed like a little, a little bit of a cutter change up, 84 mile power change up or cutter, something like that, that was tailing away from Miguel Cabrera. The one what does one. Miguel Cabrera do that Deep he has fly. done well throughout his career? He hits a bomb to the opposite field. Do not pitch Miguel Cabrera uh, from the middle to outer part. Do not give him a chance to extend those arms because that is his happy zone. Miguel Cabrera has always been a good opposite field hitter. I should say a great one, right? This guy has had 19 years in Major League Baseball. Ever since he stepped foot into Major League Baseball, he has not been sent down. You already know the caliber of player that I'm talking about. He has, since 2008, been with the um, Detroit Tigers. He has not won a World Series with the Detroit Tigers. The Detroit Tigers have been going through it year in and year out. But that does not take away anything from how great of a leader, of a player, and a human being Miguel Cabrera is. Miguel Cabrera, I would tell you, is like a big teddy bear. In my years of following and analyzing the game of baseball, I have, with the fingers of my hands, I can count the times I've seen Miguel Cabrera in a bad mood or negative state. It happens everywhere. We're not perfect, right? But players around the league love this guy because of the human and the positivity that he brings to everybody in the clubhouse. He's, he is what you call a real leader, a Hall of Famer, active Hall of Famer. I'm saying it now, bold statement. You heard it here first from Barrel Up from John Carlos, right? Without a doubt, Miguel Cabrera, is deemed to be a Hall of Famer within Major League Baseball when he does decide to retire because I see that we will have a lot of Miguel Cabrera to come. The guy's not done yet. He has other records to break. Like, like, huh? 45 hits left to reach through the 3,000 mark. He has 2,955 hits, 45 shy of 3,000. That's another record adding to his accolades, right? And when we talk about his accolades, let's talk about them in detail, right? Listen to this. This is very important. For his career, Miguel Carrera is average of a 68.9 war, wins above replacement, meaning when he's on the field, 
versus when he's off the field. That's how the teams that he's in do, right? W wins above replacement. He has accumulated 9,515 at-bats in 19 years, almost 10,000 at-bats, right? He has 2,955 hits. Like I said, 45 shy of what? The magic number, 3,000. That's an elite realm right there. If you reach that, you're considered not great. You're considered a god within the baseball world. 500 home runs to date, has a career batting average of 311, which in, in my opinion is one of the most impressive stats. Career 300 hitter, and he's not done yet. I can only imagine how he will finish out his amazing career because it's been nothing but what? Amazing. Runs. 1,498 runs in 19 years. So Miggy, he's not the fastest, but when he gets on base, he does score. 1,785 RBIs. And get this, on base percentage, a guy that doesn't really strike out, a guy that will get himself on base and create opportunities for others. Remember when, remember when that duo was in, uh, that trio, I should say, Maglio Ordonez, Miguel Cabrera, and Victor Martinez? Those guys benefited from the times that Miguel Cabrera was on base when he was not hitting the ball 400 feet like he usually does, right? His on-base percentage, a solid 388 on-base percentage. Not everybody can say that. Slugging percentage, all-time slugging percentage, 534. And OPS, 534 as well. But wait, there's more. In this 19-year career, which is actually 22 years because he spent a couple years in the minors, never went back when he got called up, he has accumulated two MVP awards. He is an 11-time All-Star, seven-time Silver Slugger, two-time two -time Major League Player of the Year, right? Not only was he the MVP for two years, you know, two years of his career, he was the two-time Player of the Year. That's something to say within itself. A Triple Crown winner, which is, in my opinion, for hitters, the hardest award to get. To be the leader in home runs and RBIs and in slugging. Oh, sorry, home runs, RBIs, and average. You're not messing with a, you're not messing with a, a little kid. You're messing with a grown man that knows what he's doing at the box, man. A lot of players have tried to emulate his swing, his bat path. Wilson Contreras of the uh, Chicago Cubs. If you look at his load, the way he swings. And watch Miggy, you heard it here first. It's basically the exact same thing. And that's good because that shows that other players emulate and try to idolize and try to do the right things, the good things that Miguel Cabrera does. I don't see nothing wrong with that. And in 2013, sorry, 2003, he won the World Series. Will we see another World Series uh, ring on Miguel Cabrera's hand? Stay tuned because, you know, I'll be the first one on that uh, boat showing you guys that magnificent moment. And to finish off, he's a four-time batting title holder. Guys, do not, please, do not take this guy lightly. Watch his games. Watch. If you want to learn how to hit, not to copy him, how to hit to take the good from him, watch what he does as players like Albert Pujols. David Ortiz, Alex Rodriguez have all congratulated and emulated the great hitter, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera, congratulations to you from um, this server here, this humble server, Jean Carlos. I've been watching you. I'm a, I've been a big fan ever since I saw you with Manny Ramirez in, in various home run derbies and not home run derbies, various all-star games, how he took you under the wing. I've been a big fan. I've watched you. I've tried to pick up on some myself i've tried to pick up on some on some of the good things you do as a hitter and as a player we love you man thank you for being such a great human being and such a great player and showing others what it really takes to be a leader 19 years with that being said guys do not miss this and other episodes don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel barrel of podcast follow us on twitter barrel of podcast slash baseball like this video comment down below i want to hear your comments Follow us on Instagram, right? 
Barrel Up underscore baseball. Follow us on Anchor, Barrel Up Podcast, and on Spotify, Barrel Up Podcast. For baseball lessons, hit me up if you want to hit like Miguel Cabrera or others. No, I'm serious. I'm a coach as well. We love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.